Hello everyone, this is Venu Gopal. Today in this session, we will find out the solution for accepting a character as an input and we'll check whether the character is alphabet or digit or any another, okay? Now in my earlier video, we have seen what exactly mean by character, okay? So character can be either alphabet or digit or special symbol, right? In my first introductory video of C programming language, I have explained about two things. One is character set and another is character. If you don't know this one, please go and please watch my first introductory video on C programming language. So now here we need to find out whether the input character is alphabet or digit. If both are not, then definitely it will be a special symbol. Okay. Now what exactly mean by alphabet? Like A comma, B comma, dot, 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 up to small. And second thing is capital A, capital B, and up to capital Z. These are the alphabets. Everybody knows, right? Then what exactly mean by digits? 0 to 9. These are called as what? These are called as a, these are the digits and these are the alphabets. Now, if I want to find whether the enter character, I'm saying the character. So whenever I'm saying character, that means it may be alphabet, it may be a digit or it may be a special symbol. So we need to check whether that character is out of this any A to Z, small A to Z or capital A to Z. If it is there, then we can say that that is an alphabet, right? Or else we will check with the, if the number, if that character will be from zero to nine. If it is so, then we will print what? The number is digit, okay? So let us directly execute the program. on dev C++. Now, the program title is to check whether the character is alphabet or digit. So for that, we'll include, again, header file. This is the standard header file, white main. Now, now here, the data type would be a character. Okay, so I'll take a character variable. Now here, We'll ask the user to enter, enter any character. The user will enter the character we need to scan here. Now the format specifier for the character that is percent %c and here we'll read in a variable character. Okay, now here the logical begins. To check whether it is an alphabet or not, the first logic to check for alphabet, right? We know that there are two types of alphabet, small letters and capital letters. Okay, so I'll check here if my character, right, greater than or equal to small a, and this is the character. So we need to enclose in a single quotes. A and if the character that should be greater than equals to A and if it is suppose less than equals to small z. If it is so, but this condition is for only a small letters, right? Or this is a logical or, okay? Or character character greater than equals to either capital A and character less than equals to capital Z. If it is so, just a minute. I'll put one bracket here because two conditions I have used here. Okay, if it is so, 
then here we'll print printf whatever the character we have taken is a character sorry is an sorry alphabet yes or no it's a simple logic now already we have seen here see if it is either from a to z or from capital a to z that only i have implemented here by using the if if statement if character is greater than equal to small a and compulsorily because characters are from a to z or character is less than equal to z or it may be capital okay so here it will print the percent c is an alphabet else if if it is not so because we need to check one more thing else if the character greater than or equals to sorry greater than or equals to zero and character less than equals to what the digits are from zero to nine if it is so then we'll print here percent c is digit else you can take one more thing here what is that percent c is special symbol okay the logic is very easy i'll save this program control v enter done the first logic is to check for the alphabet the second logic is to check for digit and if both are not true it is alpha it, the, the the character is not alphabet not even digit then definitely it is a special symbol so if i execute this let us try okay something is missed here uh, sorry here i forget it to enclose in a single character uh, that's it character suppose imagine i'll enter lot h h is ranging in between this if you see the code the small h definitely the small h will be lie in between the small a and z okay and this is the or condition whenever we'll put an or condition then either of this one of any condition will be true then the if condition will be true and it will execute the first block only if block only okay so we are expecting here it should print what percent c that percent c is what h is an alphabet sorry here i need to mention or else it will not print okay it should be character right i have not given the character so it will not print anything in front of c so comma character and here also control v okay i'll say once again i'll cancel this because it will not going to be print anything that's it h again i'll print and c h is an alphabet now suppose if i'll print if i'll uh, enter a capital d then it will check for the another thing it's not under this one now because this condition is for small letters right so it goes here and it check yes d is in between a and z the condition will be true then it's again is going to print this one and once if block will execute it's not going to be Uh, execute in the or check in the else block right that already we have learned oh sorry already it's executing no sorry extremely sorry that's what is showing an error yeah capital d it is an uh, alphabet If I enter again, and this time if I enter in eight, the first condition will become false. It will enter into the second one. See, this will become false because it's not a digit, right? 
then it comes here and check for the else condition yes it's between 0 to 9 okay so if i'll enter this it will print oh sorry it's a special symbol something is missed here character is greater than or equal to 0 and character is less than equals to 9 oh sorry dear because of this it's directly jumped to the next one yeah see silly mistakes will produce a different kind of output okay here i have not given the single code so it will treat it as something different that is the reason why it has jumped to the else statement and is printing percent c is a symbol right if i'll execute one more time and this time if i'll enter eight you'll get the eight is a digit if i'll enter anything other than this zero to nine or something else it will give this symbol special symbol suppose if i'll enter less than so it's giving a it's a special symbol and right it's a special symbol okay so this is a very simple logic to check whether the character is alphabet or it's a digit or ultimately it's a special symbol right i hope you have got a clear concept how to check uh, the character when enter character is alphabet or digit right so keep watching we'll meet with some more videos till then bye bye